This episode of the Brutal View Podcast is brought to you by Alternative Original Clothing. AlternativeOriginal.com, selling accessories, streetwear, everyday clothing, and art. Alternative Original handpicks street styles, and their clothing outlet ships unique clothing from all over the world. This is extremely comfortable and high-end clothing. Again, visit AlternativeOriginal.com. black we're black right blacked out eric did i hit record on your camera again i'm pretty sure i did but yeah, why can i see your nipples oh, oh. Shoots. cbs 46 has to bring the things up now live at the methodist church of lawrenceville sabrina how are things going now well this seems like the story everywhere across the metro Things are quiet here. There is actually two voters Wait, what? right now. And get this, so far they've only had 113 Bro. people come out and vote. And look, there is a line a few issues. The camera wasn't even on her face. <laughs> they, they, on her chest. they kept the high beams on, bro. Mm. She put the high beams on. She put the high beams on. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I think she made a couple of good points. <laughs> yes, that was nice. Two good points specifically. Um, did the cameraman purposely like? Oh no, that was me trying to fix it. Okay, you were doing that, yeah. but they had her whole head in the shot the whole yeah, time. I, was, yeah. I got stuck zooming in on it. Was... Why would you not wear a bra if you're doing a fucking whatever this is? I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone even really care? Like, I know for a fact, if I see a girl's nipples through a shirt, they're just nipples. Like, I don't I, I just think it's wild for the news. I mean, okay, yeah, so... Yeah, but I don't know, dude. I'd that's... say young kids and whoever her boyfriend is. That's who cares. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> you know? Other than that, no. Everyone else, yeah, they don't well, give a shit. that's the thing, is I'm yeah. not a young kid anymore. Like, right. I know what boobs look like. I've seen all different flavors of boobs. Fucking big, small, different colors different nipples they're all i just feel like it's wild boobs. to like you know report I mean? it like to be a news reporter yeah no like, that, that's wild flashing your high beams at me like that yeah yeah i mean it's still it's through a shirt it, you see the some of the news anchors like what's that spanish oh, weather dude. jesus oh, spanish yeah. weather oh, my god that's listen I, would, I don't i don't think she went to school to be a meteorologist or anything like yeah, that i think no. she's a gorgeous woman and she's like I'm on the news. Like, look, this is what it's going to be on Monday. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't she know. has I mean, a CDL to carry that dumb truck of an ass. Uh, <laughs> that uh, lady that just flashed the high beams, I mean, I'd fuck her. So, if anything, mm. that's what we gained out of it. She seems sexy. She got her nice I like rack. the news. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Same thing with the um that, that other lady you were talking about. You know, mm. I'd, I would... Dip my balls in caramel and put them on her on her boobs. I know the worst part is when you're watching it and your wife's like, "Why are you watching Mexican news? Like, oh, we don't live there." Trying to be yeah. cultured. Trying yeah, to be trying to be I can understand what they're saying, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Dora just wasn't doing it anymore. I'm trying to get up on my Spanish. <laughs> Do they actually speak Spanish in Dora? That's like the whole point of the show is that they, yeah, they teach you like how to speak. Never watched it. I, I don't know. We weren't really. It wasn't like a... We weren't in that age demographic when we were... Right, because when, when we were one, children... But I think maybe on the back end yeah. of what, like, me, my childhood, and even my sisters are four years younger than me, so it was definitely on in my house, but... I was told I like Sesame Street and uh, the Teletubbies. I guess I liked those a mm-hmm. lot. I was also afraid of the Teletubbies. Yeah, they're fucked. They're, they're like, a little creepy. They're creepy, bro. Creepy. They're aliens. Little they're strange. Like, they're aliens. They, 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 like, they, they like spoke a different call. language. It's like... <laughs> blah, 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 yeah, blah, right. Blah, 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 blah. The sun is talking. Um, how do you guys feel about... You can rent out movie theaters in certain parts of the country. And it's wicked fucking cheap. It's like really? 150, 200 It's like 100 bucks. bucks 200 bucks. So I've, I've seen a few things where like people will do New Year's Eve. Or right. like watch the Super Bowl. Or do something like that. Watch at a movie theater. But... It makes sense, dude. You can rent an ice rink. 
for all you and your boys to go play hockey, why can't you rent a movie theater? I think an ice rink's around a thousand or two, though, right? No, 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 no. You get a, you can get ice time at an ice rink for a couple hours for fairly cheap. Like, what do you think beer leagues do? They just have all their buddies. They go to a rink. I mean, if I was the ice rink, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm charging you guys twenty grand." <laughs> you know what I mean? That's Dude, good it's business just a for them. Building. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Plus, you know, besides, if it's not season and you're not that's a you know true you don't have your yeah, teams you don't have you, for, don't, right, you right. don't have the people coming in renting the ice it's like fuck we got yeah. this big ice rink here what are we gonna do with it how cheap you think that is for like the average folk is it under 500 yes really probably a couple bro hundred. i might do that probably, how would right, you want to record on the please, ice bro? Yeah. <laughs> right? I'd, I'd say a couple hundred bucks for like two hours two three hours or yeah something. I don't know. Dude, you used to be able to go to a public skate for 10 bucks, and they were 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, but those things, I think, so they need to be able to keep the the ice cold. They need to be able to keep the building upkeep for the time being. It never changes whether people are renting it or not. Right. I'm saying that if someone rents it out and they don't bring in, say, like, someone rents it out for a full day, and they would bring in maybe a 1000 bucks that day... I would think they would want to charge a thousand bucks to make up that loss, right? The only thing that they got to pay for it's because the Zamboni, right? is the Zamboni. They got to have a guy, the ice guy, either, you know, if you're running practices, like if a college hockey or a hockey team right. wants to rent the right. ice, they're probably going to have to Zamboni it five times before practice is over. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they're doing a full day. But I don't yeah, know. True. I think if me... If I think if if we got like ten of our buddies together and did five on five games, and we were at an ice rink for two hours, they probably wouldn't even need to fucking zamboni it. Because... Bro, we need to do that. Oh, I fucking I played hockey for eight nine years. Yeah. I'm fucking I'm obsessed with hockey. I'm I was fucking... actually talking to Dawson about it not yeah. too long ago. Ice hockey or yeah, word word word. Do it. <laughs> no. Anal. <laughs> I haven't. Unanal. Got, I haven't skated. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. unanaling. Yeah, I haven't played in like two years. I've never played ice hockey. Oh my god, You've I fucking played? loved it, dude. We used to go skating together at least. Yeah, I've never like played. Yeah, like a I want to get into a beer league. I bought things and then like crown ahead. I'm like, yeah, okay. Unanal. Um, so you would rent out a movie theater. Hundred percent. Yeah. Would you invite some boys or would you just do like a romantic type of situation? No, that's no. Gay. Fuck that. You don't. I do. I'd fucking P.B. Herman do it and beat my meat in there. Full movie theater for yourself and Watching just jerk off everywhere. 4K porn, bro. That's true. What's to stop someone from doing that? Renting a movie theater out and just busting on all the seats. Probably because it's like a felony. <laughs> they have I mean, cameras in those, like inside renting, the theater, right? You're renting the theater, but it's still not yours. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I'm thinking, like, can they prove that it's his bust? <laughs> If they want to get that bit, you know, I want to deep see the... and like send the DNA. True, yeah. If fucking... someone hunts down enough, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah you're right. I want to yeah. see the thing I sign when I fucking buy that says "Do not nut in my seat." Because <laughs> if it's not, motherfucker, we nutting. Yeah, public masturbation is illegal, right? Mm-hmm. We don't have to talk Shit. about it. <laughs> if you could master any language, what would it be? <clears throat> Hungarian. I think we actually might have said this before, didn't we? I don't know. Probably Did not. We? No, I don't okay. think so. I'm gonna say Arabic. Ooh. Arabic is like, I don't know. I have a lot of Lebanese friends, and the way that they talk to each other and like hearing the language, it's so fucking cool. Yeah. And I feel like it's universal. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of Arabic speaking people like throughout the whole entire country. It's kind of like how Spanish is everywhere. Well, I feel yeah, like dude, Arabic Lebanese, is another one of those. Especially in New Hampshire, dude. I had like fucking seven Lebanese friends in right. high school and they were all related. Like it was fucking crazy. Like The yeah. coolest thing, I think the Arabic slang. Like, yeah, they like, do have some fucking yeah. It's just Can we super... say some any of that on? Well, they say Well, they say <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> they say yalla, which is like Right, right, it's right. Like, Hurry up. Come yes, on. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this. Classic. Right. I don't know, and even my friends that were Lebanese would speak English, but even to us, they'd be like, all right, yalla, we're going to the restaurant. Yeah. You know Is what I mean? Pekush? That's not Lebanese, right? Pekush? I no think that's idea. Greek. That might be Greek. I know they call weed Shvens. <laughs> Didn't know that one. <laughs> Shvens? Oh, wow. Shvens, I think. I think I'm going Latin. I, I want to learn yeah. the, dead, the language of the dead. And the base of all language. <laughs> you know? I feel like, but Latin is like a form of 
span like Latin, any type of Spanish. There's a lot of you know what I mean. Latin in all different languages. Right. I feel like Latin would be dope to fucking learn. But if it wasn't Latin, Chinese. I'm going full Chinese. <laughs> no, no. No. Yeah. I want to do the Hyang Dong Bong. I want to do that. You know, like while I'm talking. I think it, well. Same thing with Chinese as Arabic. I think it would be cool to really have a good understanding of the language and fucking freak out at someone. Right. In Chinese. Or in Arabic. Chinese. Because it's fast, dude. Yeah. It's, you're going, in the dude, 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 you're going a million say miles a minute. <laughs> it's fucking fast. Like, the other thing, when my buddies on a Lebanese, they would argue with each other. And especially if you're like, the boys are sitting around drinking, having a couple beers, and then two of the Lebanese kids start beefing. The transition from right. English to Arabic yeah. is just like <laughs> and it gets dude, aggressive. You're such a fucking asshole! Yeah, is there a yeah. fucking it's box insane. cut around here? Please keep it away. Right, uh, yeah. 9-11 joke. Nice. Uh, there funny. you go. Good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. Um, all right, another random question. So I, I'm telling you, I don't got any serious shit. Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to. How about this? That. Okay. How come all? How come most Indian stores? You know we're Indian as soon as you walk into it. The smell. No. Well, what do you mean Indian store? Like an, convenience in, an, an store. Indian, like that you buy Indian products? No, or like a 7-11? convenience store. Just no, con- not 7-Eleven. Like a convenience store where the aisles are this big. Yeah. Okay. 7-Eleven. It's full of like. Gove, Cumberland Farm. They're like fucking. It's full of like old expired food, but they're like, no, my friend. That's Best Buy. Yeah. That's Sell Buy, my friend. Right. They got the weird dick pills in the front that are like yeah, fucking like yeah, elephant, dick dick pills. elephant cock and right. titus. You're yeah. like, is that really? It's like, got my face masks for like, $45 a piece. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. They have boxes of cereal in the back. You're like, is that, <laughs> is that Kellogg's? Yeah, what right. I will say, if you, like, I don't even think we really have any in Salem. because Oh, we got a shit done, dude. No, the but one in, uh. Not the one, not ones like I'm talking about, like. I've been to a couple. There's a package store where I work down in Wilmington, and there's a couple of other like just markets, like exactly what you're talking about. They got everything, fucking hand sanitizer, t-shirts, fucking. Like, yeah. Yeah. They got everything, yeah. dude. If you go in there and you like make good enough friend with they're the guy, amazing. they're fucking constantly Great. hooking you up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Hello, my say, friend. I'm boys with all of the convenience stores. Of that type, right, yeah. Basically. They're wicked cool people, like, but they're always the same. It's dude, always like the red this barn. This has been old for like three years. He's like, no, my friend. It's <laughs> yeah. like, All right, fuck like it. the expiration date's right here. Mm. It says twenty seven. Or, uh, <laughs> or like in Don't Mess with the Zohan when they're buying the the speakers. Or going the, out of the business. <laughs> right. The name of the business is going out of business. Yeah. And they, dude, like, you know those are actually in New York. Yeah. Yeah. Those are real places oh, that have. I believe they're it. going out of business twenty four seven for a decade. <laughs> yeah, like, and it works. Because like, idiots like us, we it, show up and we're like, exactly. What a time to be Dude, alive! Dude, if you have an opportunity for a tourist to come to your city, yo, this place yeah. is going out of business. Let's go in there. I would do the same fucking thing. It's like, like going to a, like down the street. Best Buy is yeah. going out of business. I'm gonna go there, but you're in New York. Exactly. Like, exactly. I could use a six. The set flea of market speakers. is kind of on that same thing too. Yeah. <laughs> but but then, very illegal stuff. It's yeah, like that's, that's not true. real, yeah. or it's real, yeah, and right. something's going. But on. then at the same time, they have the flyer that's like Sony, you know, six CD change or whatever, two ninety nine, and you go and you're like, all right, that looks like a good deal. I'm gonna, can I get the six CD changer? And then they pull something out, and it says, like, Sanyo. And it's yeah. Like, no, no, no. Like, it's, yeah. you, I right. went to Sony, and it goes, my friend, same thing. It's, right. got, it's got Sony guts. Different enough <laughs> yeah. signs. Sony guts. That is what the sign is for. It's like, no, I didn't want the Chinese <laughs> off-brand. I wanted the real fucking thing. Like, mm. yeah, no, yeah, that's 100% true. They know how to finagle and bagel, though. No, They're, fuck those, yeah. They're always making a deal. They're always... They're fun. always the ones that are fucking calling you about your extended car warranty. Mm-mm. Always fucking not true. <laughs> White people, dude. Warranty. White people. I get. I have never yeah, got I get a one. lot. I get of three of them man. a day. I get three of them a day, and it's either a robot or like Sarah. Sarah, hi. This is Sarah no, from I'm really? a fucking scam artist dot com. No, I, I, I get do Indian get people. Bro. I get white people, but I get more foreigners than anything. It's robots, then foreigners, then white people. Yeah. And I think it's funny we're saying we can tell by the voice. I mean, I think most people can tell by the voice, right? You know, you can ask for like. So if you're talking to someone, they're Indian. You can be like, "I don't want to talk to you. Like, can and I have someone yeah, better?" Yeah, dude, I like, do that on a daily basis. I work in the oh, medical really? field. Yeah, all the insurance I companies like... I call, dude, the people work overseas. Mm. They don't even fucking. They're not even in the country. Hello, my friend. Yeah. Nope. 
Next. Right. <laughs> uh, now we're getting canceled. Um. Yeah. Well, for the most part, I mean, to be honest with you, I think we're pretty lucky in the sense that by the time we were old enough and we're dealing with phone calls like that or you have to call Sprint to fucking mm. fix your phone bill or something like that, by now, like... Even the foreigners, they got English down pretty decent. They're like, getting a lot better. When it just started happening and all these contracts started going outside of the country and all this stuff, and they were... Dude, I can't imagine how fucking hard it was to know one language your whole life and then try to learn English and fucking support people and be the help. No fucking way. That would be like all the languages we just said we wanted to learn. Yeah. That would be like taking on a job and being like, by the way, yours is in Chinese, so... Learn Chinese and right. you start tomorrow. And then, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh, fucking all right. But I heard they get paid at a much higher rate than they would at other jobs in there. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So it kind of, it does, it adds up. I'd probably do that. If, say if someone came to us right now, they're like, you learn, you got to learn Chinese tomorrow and we'll start you off at 65 an hour. All three of us are learning Chinese by I'm, tomorrow. I'm, I'm all set. Dude, You're I not doing it? I'm 65 an hour? I'm straw hat no to way. bed, bro. All right. All right. Good <laughs> 95 an hour. Dude, I dude, that's three figures. I fi- that's I physically maybe couldn't two hundred grand a year. <laughs> I couldn't do it, especially with the pressure on like that. You have to learn this, and not only do you have to learn this language, but you have to perform in your right. job learning this language right. while it's, while dealing with people that possibly are possibly stopping you because they don't understand. Right. Dude, I'm all set. Yeah, no, you got a good <laughs> point, but I would do it for the money. I think I would. I would att- attempt to do it for the money. I'd say if that. it was easy. Yeah, if it was like Chinese is hard, <laughs> but dude, so is English. I'm I've been speaking English my whole entire life, and it's one of the most fucked up languages. Yeah. It's so complicated. I, yeah. I've heard Eng- English is the hardest language to learn. Anywhere in the world, except for obviously places like Germany, where it's like kind of similar, but mm. it is the hardest language to learn. And and the amount of slang that we have is like tenfold to any other like oh, place. Oh god, dude! All the dialects of English—it's insane. It, it, just like, in the United States, it, I. It's funny. I went to San Diego visit my cousin. He lives out there. Yeah. And it's funny because like. Boston, they all have their, you know, their accent, and they say things. And then, like in New York, people will say different things. Like it's brick out. That's that started as like a New York. Thing. I still say that. <laughs> right, but then <laughs> right, <laughs> you have all that slang, and you go somewhere else, and you just even in the country, bro. Uh, yeah. And I would be like, dude, that's mad funny. Yeah. And someone in California like, mad? is like, huh? <laughs> What the fuck that are you happens talking about? You say, you say wicked at all? Yeah. Bro, I, every time I say wicked, someone's like, the fuck did you just say? Yeah, they think <laughs> we're talking about witchcraft. Right. And I'm like, no, it, it's just, you know, it's sim- it's synonymous with very. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, it's not the Wizard of Oz. Calm down with that wicked shit. I'm like, yeah. hey, yeah, chill, man. Like, People are like, oh, where are you from? I'm like, uh, New Hampshire. They're like, why are you talking like that? I'm like, it, I'm, I'm from Boston. Like, that's where I'm from. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. It makes it's, it so much easier. We're from the birth of America, you fucking cunt. Yeah, you piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> Dude, I fucking... My uncle was co-captain on the Mayflower. Remember when we fucking went to the Duncan's drive through Yep. So I was like, can I get a... It was when that fucking SNL skit came out for the Duncan's. The Casey Affleck. He was like, fucking... I got a hot, large hot regular fucking chocolate Crella. Right. Went to the drive-thru. I was like, hey, can I get a... Uh, chocolate fucking Crella or a fucking Crella? Yeah. And she was like... What? I'm like, <laughs> can I get two chocolate sticks? <laughs> Dude, I, I have the video with that. I fucking do. That is another thing. We do call them chocolate sticks. That's also not common. Even in New England, there's other places in New England that don't say chocolate yeah. sticks. I used to call them poop sticks. Yep. And then I remember one time we were at Dunkin's and my, my mom's like, do you want a donut or something? I'm like, yeah, I'll take a poop stick. She's like, can I have a poop? And just drove off. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, fuck. I like to call it something that's... say that. I like to call it something that's relative to me in my life. So I just go up and I'm like, can I have a dildo? All right, next topic. Uh, Dr. Dre had an aneurysm. I know. Oh, I saw Brain that damage. Shit, bro. Jesus fucking Guess Christ. Guess detox isn't coming out. Uh... He is recovering. He is better. I wouldn't make that joke if he wasn't. I do think he is the greatest uh, rap and hip hop adu- producer of all time. I don't know. Nah, no bro. Question. Takashi six nine, bro. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, have you guys now ever we're taken <laughs> laxatives? Have I? Yes. Kind of. I took the chocolate ones once. I I'm sorry. Really shit like crazy. They have little chocolate. They have chocolate bars. laxatives. I was like, I kind of want to try these for yeah. fun. I did it for fun, and it didn't really work. I've never needed to. Anytime I have problems going to the bathroom, I'm like, 
I could go get a laxative and like deal with that and people complain all the time that they're fucking pain, but why not go to McDonald's and get a two dollar juicy delicious <laughs> enema? You know what I mean? McDonald's is gonna make you shit. There's no need for <laughs> no, a laxative in this fucking planet. Just eat McDonald's. So one time <laughs> I was bamboozled, to say the least. Uh, I went to a party with and this is one story I can tell. I had to cut out a lot of details. I've went over this many times in my head, but the portion I can tell is that at this specific party, there was one table was hallucinogenics, one table was uppers, one table was downers, one table was full alcohol. So the alcohol table I walked over to. And I just see these two kids sitting on the couch next to it, and they're just laughing. They're giggling mad hard. And uh, I was 14. My brother's four years older than me. All these kids are 18 or older. Just put that into perspective. So, I'm at a party, 14 years old. These fucking kids are laughing at all these people taking drinks from this vodka bottle, and I have no idea why. I take the vodka bottle, try and act like a cool little fucking kid, and just start chugging it. I realize that I'm like halfway through the bottle and I'm chugging it with no issue. It was a laxative. Yeah, oh. it wasn't vodka. They it put wasn't. out the vodka bottle. So there's like 17 bottles, right? There's like five vodka bottles. They switched one with laxatives. And they were, gonna, they were laughing how many people they could try to get. Well, the joke was on them. That one bottle was issued to the whole party. <laughs> so, oh, <laughs> not only was I the first person in the bathroom, because I chugged half the bottle, so it hit me fucking fast, but there was only one bathroom at this person's house. <laughs> so, everyone was banging on the door, screaming. People are crying. Literally, women, men, kids, screaming, crying. I shouldn't say kids. They were like my age, so I guess But you kids. were a kid. Yeah, I guess kids. Teenage crying, a kid. Scre- it's yeah. different. They're screaming. They all have to shit. It fucking hurts. Their stomach hurts. I'm in the bathroom, and I don't let anyone in. I put a fucking chair up to the door. And I did the whole fucking thing. I was like, nah, I'm shitting my brains out, dude. 40 minutes later, I'm done shitting. I'm sweating. Half my clothes are off. I put it all back on because it, I don't know if you're taking laxatives, but you sweat balls. <laughs> like, it flushes your fucking body out. Um, I go out of the party. And I should have realized this when I was in the bathroom, but so when I first went in, music's blasting, shit's lit. About 30 minutes in, after all the banging and screaming, the music got a little quieter, I don't hear that many voices, and then when I go out, the music's off. And I see half the people aren't in the room, half the people are. So I'm like, okay, what, like, where'd everyone go? They're like, I don't know, I think they went outside. Bro, I went outside, and... Almost the entire party was shitting all over the yard. There was no other bathroom. They couldn't do anything else. And I do want to mention, this was in Haverhill, and it was right off of not a... If you go off Washington Street and you go up, just keep going north, you'll get to a point where it's just a hill, and then it's like 1st Street, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, 4th Street, 5th Street. The entire 15th Street was literally people shitting in different people's yards. <laughs> oh, it dude. was so fucked up, and everyone was, like, screaming and crying. Cops were fucking called. Mad shit went down. Yeah, that was my laxative story. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> I had some fun with laxatives, I guess. Um, but, yeah, you guys haven't had any other experiences. <laughs> no. Well, I guess I could, I could somewhat add on to that story. It has nothing to do with an actual laxative, but... This was one time I was like 18 or 19, drove over to my buddy's house. He was having a fucking huge house party, and I got way too fucked up. And obviously, I'm not driving home, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to walk. Now, Eric, you know where I live, right? So this guy's house was past Canopy. So I was at his house getting fucked up beyond belief. Party's over. People are leaving. Some people are staying. You know, some people found a chick. They went home with them, whatever. And I was the lone soldier at the end of the night because I'm just like, dude, 
I'm partying. When I was like 18, 19. Per I, usual, guy. Remember I, all the Christmas parties? Yeah. It's four in the morning. We're like, so what do we do? Want to go shoot some hockey? Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I always just, when I'm at a party, I fully want to do it. I want to be the last one up and fucking experience the whole thing. So we do that at this kid's house. Party's over. Everyone's going to bed. And I'm like, all right, dude. Um, I think I'm going to try to get a ride. I'll leave my truck here. I'll come pick it up tomorrow. He's like, all right, word. See you tomorrow. Start walking home. It's like four o'clock in the morning. I'm walking home from Canopy Lake. <laughs> and I made it like a mile and I'm walking. And then so I'll you're like, walking down at that point. Yes. And then just, yeah. Yeah. So, that so, fucking road. <laughs> yep. And then stomach starts turning. <laughs> After a long night of boozing, <laughs> stomach starts turning, and I'm like, oh God. And I'm like, dude, I've got like five miles to go to get to my house. <laughs> oh no. I, was, I wasn't near a store. I wasn't near. Oh a, Christ. Nothing. So I'm like, I'm like afraid for the ending of this. I'm like, oh God. <laughs> so I end up pulling away. And just in a scene, just like that on your TV right there, how that how that's woods right there, I literally just had to drop my trousers and shit <laughs> yeah. inside the woods. <laughs> I had no choice because... It was four in the morning, you said? Around there. Right, the party so that's was, good at least. Yeah. Party was long over. Yeah. I'm walking home. I'm like, I gotta do... You know, I'm not gonna drive home shit face, so I gotta walk, trying to do the right thing. And I'm pretty sure I, like... Hit the bathroom and then started walking at this kid's house. I like took a piss and I'm like, all right, I'm good. Let's go. I had a water, ready to go for a walk. <laughs> like a mile, nope. a mile in. It, dude, exercise will make you shit. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Every yeah. time I like would run, bro, I'm like, bro, oh, shit. You're like, oh, oh fuck, shit. like yeah. Mm -hmm. So somewhere. <laughs> In the woods of Salem, New Hampshire, lies a shit from me. Yeah. From like 2016, uh, 18, 17, somewhere the around legendary there. legendary shit around. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I mean, I can't tell a lot of those stories. Do you, do you, either of you guys know about the bungalow? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. But there was a lot of shits taken in those woods as well. <laughs> I wanted to say this. Right, because when you're out there, you're so, like, fuck it. That leads to my question. What did you use to wipe your ass? Leaf. I did the same fucking thing. So Phil fucking used a sock. I was like, that's so smart. I should have used my fucking sock. Yeah, do you and then just throw it out. Yeah, in dire straight. Because then you can fucking, you can cup it and pretty right. much get it almost So you can like white. scoop it out of your butthole yeah. and then just like throw it and keep going. I didn't, it never clicked to me to I do, do that. that. I used a fucking leaf. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, you hear the jokes about it like, you know, old school. That's how people used to wipe their ass with leaves. No. Uh, but... I was in the woods, and it was like the tree was like the shit ticket tree. It right. literally looked – it wasn't it – was like like, This is fucking perfect. Yeah. Like, dude, that's good size leaf. Right? The durability of this leaf yeah. will fucking clean my shit. Take a right. shit in the tree. The branch just like hangs down right next to you. Yeah, <laughs> right. And luckily I'm, you know – Smart enough to know what poison ivy and poison oak and all that stuff look yeah. like. I'm so allergic to that. That's Dude, I'm fatally allergic. I will be in the hospital if I touch it. Oh, really? Bad. Yeah. I think I ate a poison ivy leaf one time. I was hospitalized twice for it. it fucking sucks. You ever have it on your bean bag? Yeah, or? dude. I had it on my nut sack. That's the worst. I also had a tick bite on my why? nut sack, dude. Why, why is poison ivy getting near your exposed bag? Well, because if you're like, oh... Yeah, you walk. You got shorts you on. Piss, yeah, or you go to like, or you get home and you're like, right. oh, my balls are itchy or some shit. I was walking through like that fucking three foot tall fucking brushery while fucking wearing gym shorts, so it's all just going right up my fucking pants and. Damn. Yeah. No. Was I was rough. scared, bro. I'm like, oh my god, I think I have like pee pee cancer. Dude, I have to say. If we do have any black listeners, this is the whitest thing we have ever said. Taking shits in the woods and wiping our ass in, with leaves? The most American thing. I guarantee thing. not I don't half know. of the people. I guarantee 90% of the people listening to this. Have I bet you that one person in Kenya is like, they shit outside for fun? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't, think it's a, I don't think it's a white thing. I think it's a... <laughs> dire fucking emergency i shouldn't because, say white it's a new england type of right no definitely like the more outdoorsy i'm just saying sticks dude, you people, know yeah people in kentucky definitely do that right shit yeah all the time people atlanta, in atlanta and georgia they got mad woods around there they probably do that shit too but i just think white people are more like i mean fuck you'd be surprised how much shit i've seen in the streets before bro 
You yeah. see a lot of shit in just the street. And that's like some rugged street shit, literally. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I've seen shit in subways and on trains yeah. and shit. Like, Well, that's the funny thing. We're, <laughs> we're, telling, we're telling stories about, like, dude, there was one time, you know, there was no other way. We had to shit so bad. There was no other option. Yeah. And then it's like, <laughs> but out in California, it's like, People just shit in public streets. Yeah. They just do it. Dude, it's the fucking <laughs> homeless city in California. That's Skid fucking bro. wild, bro. You know how fucking, like, our grandparents or parents were always like, when I was a kid, I had to walk. Right. I want to tell my kids, when I was a kid, I had to shit outside and wipe it with a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, Dad, you were born in the 90s. <laughs> You're fucking grateful for that yeah. one ply, okay? <laughs> we're struggling. Right. I stole that from a porta potty. Fuck. Yeah. Do you Dude. think um t- toilet paper is going to go extinct? I hear a lot of people no. saying, bro, I hear mad people saying our age. I have friends that confirm this. They have bidets and they don't wipe their ass. Oh, I, I they just spray say. their ass with the bidet. At first, I thought you were doing the whole Corona toilet paper shortage. Oh, no, thing. no, no. <laughs> I thought that's where you're going, which is why I said no. But I will say, bidets are coming more and more prevalent. My neighbor got one, and he, like, he's the guy that when he hears about something or he wants to do something, he fucking goes way too hard right. into it. goes deep. So he got, like, a $250 bidet for his fucking toilet. It's not that bad dude, compared to my friends. <laughs> dude, the thing is serious. It's got its own remote. You can adjust the angle, the water temperature. It's got a heated toilet seat. It's got a blow dryer after you wet. Damn, after, and that's, that's only what? You said 200? Like 250 bucks. It's, what? It sprays your ass off, Imagine. and then it, pull, it pulls out a blow dryer, and it's just like a warm air. And it, right. And it just fucking does the whole See, job I, down there. And I I'm like, trust that, man. I, I got a wipe. Yeah. I, can't, I take some gruesome shits. Water splashing at my butthole is not going to wash that away. So the thing is, I think the bidet gets the curse off. The bidet gets the curse off. And even it like, you know, this one's got a blow dryer. But if it, if you don't have a blow dryer, you still take a couple of squares and fucking do, finish the job. You know but what I mean? But did you ever have one of those shits where you just wipe for like six minutes straight, bro? And yeah, it's, it's still streaky. It's like the end of wiping a Sharpie marker. Man. It just don't <laughs> stop. It's a good example. <laughs> it's a prime analogy there. <laughs> but I, I, I have a friend. I, okay, I'm going to say his name. Anal. Has a bidet that's like $1,500 in his house. Bro, what? he does not use toilet paper. Really? He literally told me that. But he doesn't I, use toilet paper. But girls like wipe their cunts. So like, what do they got to do? Just like squirt them? I mean, a vagina I could see. Because they just spray like a water splash and then Dude, rinses it off. Get well, no, I'm thinking a butthole like it, the water splashing on it. it I feel like it'd have to gotta, push out. You gotta bro. grind it a little no, bit. You gotta scrape a little. Have you ever used a bidet? Yeah. I don't know. They're they're not high pressure. Like it's not gonna take your skin off. But maybe I didn't use a good they're, one. Dude, they're pressurized enough. I, I, I might have not used a good one. Anytime I've used my neighbors, at least. I'll go, and like I said, the bidet will do most of the work, and I take a couple squares, wipe it, and... That's what just, I think would be just, the... And just triple check, right. and every single time, it's fucking spotless. Damn. Maybe I haven't used the right bidet. And I think you also go... I also think the high water pressure on a bidet, you just shoot not, water into your ass. No, it's not what you'd think. Dude, you know, like the saying is, a duck's ass water tight. No, yeah. I don't know that so, saying. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what that saying is. It's, it's kind of like, it's, it's one of those, you know, like, does a bear shit in the woods? I don't know. Okay. Is, a right. duck, is a duck's ass water tight? Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. No, that is a, a good you one. You see a duck floating on the lake? Is a duck's ass water tight? Yes, sir. So, okay. human ass, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. true. I'm you know what I mean? Bro. I mean, unless, I mean, unless you swing that way and your girlfriend likes to peg you or stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. I can't relate. I can't touch on that subject. Yeah. I just know. You ever got a finger in the pooper? Um, Anyone pop the thumb or anything like that? No, no one's ever really tried. I've I've never expressed. I've never cared to try. Yeah. I mean, you hear the jokes. You hear like the. Um, I know. On Letter Kenny. Right. Yeah. I've <laughs> fucking, never seen it. Oh, dude, it's pretty good. I don't know. It's becoming more and more popular, I guess, to today's age. But I mean, me and Eric have talked about this mad times. We've we both had a finger in the pooper by medical professionals. Never mind. <laughs> A person. So that, so that's <laughs> funny because it was not. I heard. I, I <laughs> didn't hear. I, I saw. I saw a tweet, and it was this person saying like, you know, guys, 
think that's so masculine fucking saying they don't want anything going up their ass or they don't want a finger in their ass or anything, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, they're going to have a real big fucking shock when they get a prostate exam and the doctor puts a finger up their ass and they blow a load all over the place because that's where the, the male G spot is or whatever. Yeah. So apparently that's happened where like, People have gotten a prostate exam. And oh, they yeah. Just, and they just... Uh, <laughs> no, that's actually pretty common, <laughs> Dude, yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. No way, bro. If anyone ever tried, I'd be like... Yeah. Fucking a quick punch. Dude. Because when that doctor was in there, bro, he capped and hooked me and, like, fucking went around. Like, he was... I think he was fucking with me. And not at one point, I was like, I might come. Because <laughs> nothing of that <laughs> came into my mind. I just said... I should either squeeze my butthole really tight so he can't get out. Right, okay. Or just scream. Because so, it was so weird. I panicked. <laughs> I shut down, dude. So I, I, I was shitting blood. And it was due to my excessive drinking. I was drinking heavily every single day, like bottles, every single day. I shit so much blood that I did go to Elliot. And the Damn. doctor, she, she didn't even go in that deep. But I just, I guess I didn't know it was happening. You had a girl? Yeah. Had a grown ass dude, bro. His finger was the size of a cock, it looked like. He had yeah. big ass hands, dude. Yeah, no, I, I had a woman and, and she didn't um well she obviously knew what she was doing, I'll say that. <laughs> but she it, I don't know how to explain it. It fucking scared the shit out of me and I didn't know what was happening. So it was like a, oh, pull your pants down. I was like, okay. She's like, spread your cheeks. I was like they make it so humiliating. Right. Too, bro. I was like, what do you... was with my girlfriend fucking... Like, what do you mean? I was mean? shitting blood and they're like, you gotta pull your pants down. You gotta spread your... You're gonna bend over the thing. Spread your cheeks. And I was like... I remember looking at him and I was like, come on, man. Is this real? Right. Because he was a cool guy so I was like, shooting the shit with him. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm gonna count to three. Yeah. And he's like, one, <laughs> two. And he just put it in him like, you bastard. I'm uh. like, what the fuck, guy? He's like... If you said three, you would have clinched and it would have fucked up my finger. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I don't even think I got a warning with mine. She didn't tell me she was penetrating. She just said, okay, pull your pants down. And I was like, okay. And and then she said, lay down. So I lay down sideways on the bed. You know, she... this dude had me doggy style. Yeah, see, that bed, was rape. <laughs> it was so... I just remember like looking at my girlfriend and I was like, yeah. This is terrible. Yeah, he was catching a feel for you, I think. I think he was trying to, you know, get a little extra. Right. Um, yeah, no, man, she she just fucking went in for it. And again, when she said spread the cheeks, I was like, oh, she's just trying to look at it. Like, okay. Nope. And then I felt the coldest fucking, mm. <laughs> the coldest latex fucking feeling I've ever felt. And it, uh, the second it went in, I just went, ah! like, I just made a noise. I was like, no. Like, I felt like I was shitting Lubo for yeah. like three days. Dude, I felt like I was shitting. I felt like, it felt like a poop was almost coming out. I was like, yo, this is fucked up. I, I need to go home. And I got home and I was sitting there and I was like, fuck, I just shit my pants. Like, what the fuck? Right? And I'm like. I'm leaking lube out of my asshole. Yeah. Like, I was like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, I am. Yeah. There's lube in my booty hole right now. I think um, I, I was already broken up with a girl at that point. Thank you very much. Yes, but sir. um, I remember hitting up a girl, and I was like, I literally feel emasculated. Like, I feel <laughs> like a, a weak piece of shit right now. Like, I just got raped in prison. Like, yeah, that was rough. We just went on a 10-minute tangent of getting fingered in our ass. I'm glad I didn't have much to contribute. <laughs> do you have uh, any gun to your heads? I do have gun to your heads, but... All right, we'll go to the gun to your head. Seven foot for the rest of your life, starting right now. Seven feet. Or four feet. Four feet. Four feet. Seven feet, you can't fucking do anything. You're hitting I'm your surprised he- you both went with four you're feet. Hit- you're hitting your head off doors. You can't go... Oh, um, actually, the roller coaster one is iffy because... If you're four feet, can you go if you're accompanied by an adult? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That'd but be so humiliating. <laughs> that just means you got to go on a roller coaster with your boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? But what if you're like with like your nephew that's like three inches taller than you? And they're like, yeah, he's my guardian. <laughs> like, Dude, fuck it. He's letting me on. As long as I can get on the ride, I don't care. I guess. Being seven feet would be so obnoxious, dude. Getting into cars and fucking... No, I'm all set. Yeah, I'd rather be small, dude. People are small now, and they get away with it all the time. Life is great Four for them. Four feet, dude. Dude, you can get, you can buy kids clothes. Everything's cheaper. You yes. Can probably get fucked up. Off you like could probably three get years. like. You could probably get but, a handicap sticker too, bro. Yeah, I don't know. Easy money. 
easy spot. I'm going bro. seven feet. No I'm going way, seven dude. feet easily, actually. I'm I not even debating just, it. I think you're just too big. So my immediate thought process is like, all right, if I'm seven foot feet tall, for one, girls for some reason obsess over anything that is over six feet. So I'll have somewhat more of an attraction for females. A four foot dude is getting laughed at with females. Just saying. Two... Oh, I don't know if that would make sense, but I would hope my dick is proportionate to my height. <laughs> At least a dude. little bit. <laughs> dude, if you're seven feet tall, you're definitely packing 12 inches. That will kill someone. Yeah, but that's relative to your height, right? I don't think that'll kill... Say, like, if you're seven foot tall, you're probably going to be with, like, a six foot woman. You know what I mean? But yeah. she's still a foot shorter than you. So it's not... Like, for other people, they're like, damn, look at those giants. But for you, you're like, this girl's a foot shorter than me. Like, If you could be seven feet and make an exceptional career out of using that seven foot to your advantage... Yeah. Then sure. But I'll tell you one thing. An office building, a doctor's office... Right. Cars, so a hotel... That was what my third a, thing was. <laughs> an elevator. They're all made for normal-sized people. My third thing is the NBA. If you could do it, then You're fucking, set for life, basically. But you're white. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Larry Bird matter. was like 6'1", right? But that was like the 70s, bro, the 80s. Yeah, but if I'm 7, I got 11 inches on him, and I'm athletic. I don't know. I, I can play fucking ball. I can shoot at least. I can't really. Dude, all you'd have to do is be a big body. Just yeah. stand in the way of people. You're Exa 7 feet and tall. And I would fucking eat a shit ton. I would make it proportional to my height. I'd look like the fucking rock up there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> Even in a black and white TV, you can still tell who the better basketball players are. The ones that make it in the basket. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good response. <laughs> that was a good response. Come on, um, guys. What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever done in a relationship? I don't know if you guys want to say this, but... Hmm. I'd have to think. <laughs> Only because I've as soon some... as shit kind of goes south in a relationship for me, I'm like, I'm good. Really? Are yeah. you Are you a, you're not a long relationship type of person? No, I am. Okay, but, but just I the just... second you get see the flag, you're... You're out. Yeah, I I have no time. I'm I'm not interested in wasting anyone's fucking time here. But um Good for you. I don't know. I've only been in like three to four serious relationships and they've been very long. Yeah. Like so I guess for me it's a lot more dramatic and, and deep. But mm. Eric, you wanna go first? <laughs> probably, I'd probably shit my pants. In a relationship? Probably in Wraith relationship. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I probably poop my pants, but other than that, I can't really think of something. So like. that, I'm guessing you shitting your pants was a detrimental portion for you in that relationship. Like, you no, shitting no, your pants really. made it really fucking it's shitty really for you. Oh, no. I don't so know. So when I say most embarrassing, and I don't know if, I don't know if I'm even going to keep this. So I was in a relationship <laughs> that lasted a while, a long time. Uh, I'm not going to say how long, but it was multiple years because that'll give away who it was. Uh, I was so traumatized by the ending of the relationship without too much explanation that I sent... <sighs> I recorded a video of myself. You probably shouldn't put this in the podcast. <laughs> every day for 13 days and sent it to her. I sent it to her email every day for 13 days. And then on the 14th day, told her to check her email. <laughs> and she watched all of it at once. And I was like fucking... I was like fucking crying in some of them. And then some of the other ones, I was fucking like saying how much of a cunt she is and then in some of them i was saying how much of a piece of shit i was that was easily the most embarrassing thing i've ever done but i do not regret it everything i, I like said that's not really i feel like that's more like emotions though just yeah like, but that's embarrassing like, as fuck for a guy i guess yeah. that's embarrassing as fuck yeah. for me i should yeah. say for me it's embarrassing as fuck it depends I, I normally don't try to open that much. So when I open, it's everything. Mm. You know what I mean? Everything I can fucking give you. So when it ended, it was everything I could fucking... And I literally, 12 days of video rec recordings, and they were like one to five minutes each. Did they all have a subject? Watched... Like day one, yesterday, we got all... We, you know, no, okay, we so did, we did this what probably I did makes it more embarrassing. Day two, we're going to do what you did. So this probably wrong. makes it more embarrassing. Day three, what we both did. <laughs> Almost every single video was 
why uh, we should still be together. And that's probably the most embarrassing part. And why yeah, but if you and us girl, breaking if, up was fucking the like yeah, I all my fault I think and shit you're like kicking that. yourself too much. Yeah, if you really? lo- if you love I feel girl, like that's embarrassing as fuck. No, because I mean everyone's somewhat done shit like that. Like I remember when I was a freshman in high school, I was dating this girl and she was good. She was like it's kind of that segue of like meaningless relationships to all right. This is a little more serious. I'm like hanging out at the right, house, meeting right. family, Got and a this and deep. that. Yeah, a little bit. It's like that transition. And she broke up with me for another kid in my high school. We went to different high schools. She broke up with me for another kid in my high school that I was like friends with. Not friends like one of the boys. But yeah, no, nope, I know I, what you mean. I know this kid. That we're we're friendly too. in class with yeah. each other or whatever. And it happened at exactly the same time the Marshall Mathers LP2 came out. Oh my god. <laughs> and the song Stronger Than I Was hit me. Yeah. Bad dude. <laughs> right in the feels. And it, it was literally <laughs> Eminem rapping about how some girl fucking broke his heart. And I'm like. It's like he wrote it for me. Yeah. Dude. Right. And I like yeah. posted the song on on Instagram and I was like, you know who you are. Yeah. This I is did for some you, shit like you that fucking too. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> so like everyone's done shit like that, but dude, I was sixteen, my heart was broken. Yeah. I'm a lover, all right? Yeah, I was gonna I'm say a fucking lover, I'm a kid. fucking lover too, man. I'm, I'm a, a fucking, lover. Yeah. I give it my all when I give it, but Right. That's yeah. the thing. Like I'm dating this girl now. I've been with her for a year and a half. I'm probably gonna marry her. Yeah. Good for you. Just it's that when you meet that person where it's like you start from the beginning and you've already had those stupid relationships where you're like, look, I got about one left in me. Right. So, <laughs> so this is like, yeah. So if this doesn't work out, then let's just cut it off. Right. Short. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't need to invest any time. But that. no, she's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. I feel that. I don't have anything really embarrassing. Nothing I really like can't that? think now. No. You ever post some questionable shit like on Facebook about like a girl? He's like, I hope you oh. die, bitch. <laughs> Not I, like used, that, but I used to be yeah. bad. I, I did do. I used to be fucking I was rough. ruthless, dude. I would say like, oh yeah, and that's the same way you talk to him, you stupid cunt. And like, <laughs> it would make it like if someone if someone else read that, they would be like, what the fuck did he just say? So only she would get that. Mm. And I posted it publicly. I've done shit like that. Yeah, yeah I probably said some stupid shit. Right? <laughs> yeah. There was there was one time I remember um, this girl transferred into the high school like june sophomore junior year and so this girl transferred into the high school and you know she was not a good looking girl but she was easy and she just started going after like you know the popular kids the jocks the this the that whatever and eventually she comes up to me and i was just being nice i'm just like hey what's up like blah, blah, blah. like she you know, you had some big boobs, like, oh, whatever. <laughs> so we had our thing or whatever. I, like, I think I hooked up with her a couple times, and then that was it. But I still had her on Facebook, <laughs> and fucking, she would post that sappy, corny, like, when is my knight in shining armor going to show up and pick me up? Oh, and you just suck seven dicks tonight. <laughs> I, I counted. So, yeah, I'd, co- I'd comment on her things, and I'd be like, you know, asterisk. Mrs. I'll fuck anything with a pulse. <laughs> oh my god! I would just do ruthless shit like that, and I look back, I'm like, wow, I was such a fucking loser. Why, like, why would you do say things like that? But I don't know, man. That's the thing that's weird about growing up is you look back and see how stupid you used to be. Yeah. And you're like, I can't believe it. But then at the same time, like right now, I'm 22. I'm gonna look back at this podcast one day and be like, wow, I was such a fucking moron. <laughs> Dude, it, that's how it is. It's weird. Weird how life goes like that, where you look, and no matter what, when you're looking back, it's never anything like, wow, I was that was pretty good. That yeah, was smart no, yeah. right there. It's just yeah. like, you idiot. I handled that situation really well. <laughs> yeah. I, I was smoking six cigarettes at a time and I was blackout drunk. I remember that. Uh, well, those are funny. Those ones where it's like, when it's me and you, <laughs> fucking when we were partying it up those just make me laugh because it makes me feel happy it's like ah, ah we yeah. used to get fucking crazy 
That's when we don't have to worry about anything, bro. Yeah, right. now, we're, now it's like an the old The only man. thing we had to worry about was how to get the twisted teas. Yeah. <laughs> that was the biggest worry. Who's going to get us Ooh, booze? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I had some contacts, bro. Are you serious? If it wasn't my brother, who is four years older than me, it was 15 of his friends, then 10 of my friend's friends. They could all get me booze. I was Dude, like, it was Damn. a big struggle for me. Really? It, it was a struggle Damn. for me to the point where... That's surprising. I feel it, like you probably looked like that at 20. Well, that's the thing is that I could never find someone to get shit for me. It was always I had to step up to the plate okay. and fucking... Which is scary. It's scary, but it once, scary. once you start doing it... Like, right, you get more comfortable. <laughs> even the kid that's working for me right now, he goes, he's a freshman at Merrimack. He's a good kid. And he likes to party it up. Like, I see a lot of myself in this kid when I was 18. And he's already got that same mentality of like, listen... We want to drink. We're going to get some booze. Like, if I got to go to the store and pretend, like, I don't give a fuck. Right. You just got to do it. But then you go out with those people sometimes, and it's like, all right, we all just ordered a beer, and they didn't cut us. Like, get a beer. Right. Be like, Can I have, like, um, yeah. one draft? Uh, <laughs> it's like... Dude, just order a beer. Like, yeah. why, are you, why are you being yeah. so weird about it? Now they're going to start like, cutting Yeah, you. now you're in your head. But... I was the master of fucking acting like right. I was older than I was. Because yeah. for the most part, all my friends when I was younger, it's like hanging out with Ziffrick. All my friends were older. Yeah. I wasn't friends with many kids my we age had while like we were in yeah. high school. We always had like, like when if you, I remember wanting to wear a JT's and you forgot your thing. You're like, you started seeing all the shit. And then my brain was like, you should add this. And I'm like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And the lady's like, yeah, but I need, and then you say something, I'd say something. She's just like. Okay, like I believe you guys. Mm. Like, just look at each other, like, my man. <laughs> like, we did that shit. <laughs> I, I have fire. a lot. Believe it or not, it's, I mean, it's kind of fucked to say, but I have a lot of like my father to thank for that because I grew up like he was an '80s rocker through and through. He listens to like Van Halen and Molly Crew and yeah. all shit like that. Rest so in I, peace. so I grew up listening to all that shit, and yeah. I've grown to love it. And what? And I was always the kid that got like bullied in school for liking old music like shit like what? that oh yeah you kids know. bully kids for liking old music <laughs> kind of it, it's like the what are you my dad like are you a four year old <laughs> yeah. man like my yeah, dad no, listens to that, that shit okay. yeah. and then the dirt comes out and everyone's like Molly Crow <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, and I bet most of those kids yeah. now would be like I love old music yeah it's exactly so it's like, but shut the fuck up <laughs> when I would go out and go drinking at a place or go to that bar or fucking whatever. Right. They'd have music on or even the, my favorite is the touch tunes because I can put a song on. <laughs> so I'd put a song on and yeah. I'd, I'd put on like, you know, Empire by Queens. Right. Which there came out in the fucking classic late 70s. And yeah. someone would be like, who put this on? And it was like that small town, like yeah. hole in the wall bar. I'd be like, it was me. Dude, I went to a bar once. I put on Amy Winehouse and I was at like kind of a party type of, it was at old school. And like, I was with a bunch of girls at the table and I put on Amy Winehouse. They're like, what the fuck? They're like, I thought you were like going to put on like some. Nothing is the worst, bro. When you pick a song on touch tunes and everyone's like, yeah. What the, you're like, dude, dude it was we an amazing song. Mm. Like, yeah. Half the like, people. Who, who played this fucking song? God right. damn it. Half the Fuck. people were like <laughs> loving it. And then there was just that group of drunk girls that were like, I yep. want to hear Tyga. Like they were just <laughs> so fucking, you know what I mean? They were so shit faced. Like. I'm both of those people. <laughs> no, I seriously am because. Just last... depends on the time of the day. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, even yesterday I was at old school and I got the touch tunes going. I'm playing like, and usually. If it's at a big restaurant like that with a bunch of people, right. I'll usually just go with, because they have a category on the Touch Tunes app. It's like you and old school both right. like. Yes, but yes. I'll, I'll usually stick within those I think songs. I did the same thing. <laughs> I'll stick within those because I, I go all over the place. Yeah. Dude. So I'm playing some songs or whatever. And then you get into the battle where you play like six songs, but because you already paid for those six, someone can next you. Yes. And Go, you know, play second. Right. And it's like, oh, what the fuck? So you still have so money not, in there, but it's not... Yeah, there. my songs are are waiting, but they're just getting nexted. Right. But at the same time, if I hear a shitty song, and I'm, I, I say it out loud sometimes, and people look at me, and I don't really care, but I'll be like, 
Who the fuck put this song <laughs> on, dude? Like, get this bull off the radio yeah. right now. <laughs> what the fuck is the this? touch tunes. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I go in and I go, next. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm playing my song. Right. So, so I'm both people. You know what I mean? It's it's tough. It's a tough battle to have. Dude, <laughs> nothing was worse than that fucking DJ at the fucking bar, bro. At G- <laughs> dude. Like, I'm he pretty was sure, such- like, four times we almost just fucking punched. Like, fought him <laughs> right there, bro. <laughs> He was such a tool. He'd play like the most like dumb shit, bro. And then he'd play good music, and we'd be like, we'd, and fucking, we you know, Candlebox. Yes. Far behind. Right. We would always jam out to that song for some reason, bro. And he was like, play far behind. And the guy just looks at us. I'm like, play far behind. And he's just like ignoring us. And he goes, play far behind, you fucking pussy. <laughs> 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 or some shit like that. The guy's like. Listen, I'm not playing that song, bro. It's funny because it you was fucking pussy. It was different every time you saw this guy too. He was like, he was kind of a tool. He would definitely cater to like the chicks that were there oh, or yeah. whatever. He would wear like a cowboy hat sometimes. I fucking dude. hate those. He was such a fruit I fucking bro. hate yeah, those like, dudes. Dude. Like, They're so fucking annoying. He like made the kissy face and did head bumps. He was like, yeah, like fuck, oh. yeah. But then sometimes you'd go up and you'd be like, hey, what's going on, man? Here, I got you a drink. Play the fucking song I asked you to play tonight. Yeah. And he'd be like, right on, man. Thanks. It's awesome. But every time that fucking song came on, bro, everyone was like, we can fucking like, drink to this song. Oh, yeah. 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 You're like, this is where it starts. Now, maybe, bro. Yeah. My, favorite, my favorite story from there with me and you, to be honest, is probably the night that it wasn't the DJ, but they had the live band. Do you remember this? Ugh, there was a live band there. And we were fucking, we just got there. It was like a Friday. We both went right after work and we just go there. We're having a drinks. So we're seeing our normal people that were all at the bar. And then the live band comes up. Now they're setting up, they're starting, they're doing some music. It was like, and they were playing good music, old school, like 80s rock, like the shit you hear on ZLX. Yeah. So the band had an intermission where they were like in between sets and I'm a musician. I'm a drummer. My father was in the bands. Like I said, he's an 80s fucking hair band guy. So I love musicians. And especially when I'm out at a bar drinking, I'm like, dude, you guys are fucking awesome. That was so good. <laughs> so I'm talking to the guy. And they played Rock Candy by Montrose. And they covered that song, which Sammy Hagar was the singer for Montrose when that song, when they recorded that song. So they played it, and I was like, dude, that fucking song, that's awesome. Like, you sound kind of like Sammy Hagar. You did it, like, you did that song very well. And, yeah. he's, and he's like, yeah, I'm the other singer from Montrose. <laughs> and I'm like, what? You're like, hold on. <laughs> so I'm like, 19 years old, I'm shit faced, and I'm that's in the dope. presence in this guy. But I don't know because right. I remember pulling it up. I'm like, Sammy Hagar sang in Montrose. And then I know he went to Van Halen and did the Sammy Hagar thing. He did all that. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm the, I went and sang for Montrose after Sammy Hagar. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? No way. So I'm like looking him up. And I think he had something where he like did shows with them. Or there was something on Google because I just Googled his name real quick. And it was something where he was a part of. Of like he definitely toured with right, them like or he was did a part some, of it, backup singer, something yeah, like that. I don't yeah, know if he was the actual guitarist singer, or but something. But I was, yeah. but that right there, I was like, dude, no fucking way. That's you know? dope as fuck. And of course, I have conversations like that with all types of people, with the bartenders, with people, with this and that. And that's that's basically how I sold myself being an older person because I knew yeah. old music. <laughs> I think I did the same fucking thing, dude. I did the same fucking thing. I get along better with older people than I do younger people. I always have. It's always right. been my shit. Dude, I miss going out, bro. So bad. Like, like think about like times where you could like dude, go out. Dude, dating is so fucking hard right now. Guess what I got again? Tinder. Grinder. Yes. Well, he's the grinder thing. <laughs> I wasn't gonna hit him like that. Yeah, bro. yeah it is Tinder. <laughs> yeah, I, I posted on Facebook. I was like, yeah, I'm on my new date tonight. Uh, grinder date. Chick uh, <laughs> looks a lot like a dude though. I'm gonna see how it goes. <laughs> no, it was uh, I I did get Tinder again, and um, it's just not the fucking same, dude. Like I miss going out to a bar 
making eye contact with a girl mean people. at the other side of the bar yeah. and walking over there hey, and fighting on? her husband. Hey, Dude, I miss it so <laughs> bad. Like, I miss it so much. Like, it's it's such a fucking feeling. Like, I don't know. Do you guys want kids? Yes. I want two Actually, boys and a vasectomy. Before we, <laughs> before we get too deep into that, how much further do you guys want to go? Are the TikToks done? And we are about two hours in right now. I don't care, buddy. We got a 30-pack, so I, I can go until the 30-pack's empty. <laughs> we should probably wrap it up. <laughs> okay, so no more, like, videos or anything? We're, no, not, we're yeah, done with we're all done that? With that? Did we do all of them? Yeah. Really? I feel like we flew through those mad fast. Maybe we didn't. It has been two hours, but... We've been vibing. <laughs> yeah, we were. Okay, so... Okay, you do want kids. You want two in a vasectomy. <laughs> yep. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I grew up in a family of five, two parents, three kids. And I find that five kids or a family of five is a little inconvenient when it comes to like everyone gets in the car and goes for a ride down to Nana's house. Okay, so the fucking... four is your cap then for that like I think, dude, the it, fifth wheel type of... Dude, if it ever happened, if I ever had three kids, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But in like in my mindset right now, perfect world... Two kids. Two boys. Everyone can get on an airplane and sit on the fucking row together. Right. Everyone can get on the teacups at Disney World and fucking... When you go to, <laughs> out to a restaurant, there's four... It's there's, a there's good four, point, actually. There's four there's seats. Most no things one, are set for four. No one's got to sit on the end. I was always the fucking kid that had to sit at the <laughs> end of the <laughs> table. <laughs> like, this sucks. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that so, is a good point. That would be me personally. I mean... Like I say, if it ever happened, if I had one kid, if I had th- three kids, it doesn't matter. Like, kids are kids. You gotta fucking love them, bud. Yeah. If it were up to me and I could have the choice, I'd say I want two sons and one vasectomy. That's it. Nice. What about you, Eric? Yeah, one to two max boys. Yeah. The girls just get thrown in the dumpster. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> now, I, 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 I want one kid. I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. And I'm going to make that kid a fucking mastermind evil genius. If well, I have to, <sighs> second one's getting thrown in the oven or something because I can't deal with it. <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know. I mean, I, I have the ability, even right now, my, I, I, I don't know if it's ADHD. I don't know if it's fucking... I know with one kid, I can focus so much shit into that. And I would love to have a child. But I would be happy with not having a kid because I also wouldn't really be that upset if I didn't get with, like, a woman to be, like, in a married, loving relate. Like, yeah. I, I know this is just speaking from pain. Yeah, and I had some other weird tangent to go off on that, but I, I, I could save that. I'd work tomorrow. I was going to say, we're at two hours. We're fucking... I don't give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> so the question was, can guys and girls genuinely be friends? Bro, I was going to fucking Jesus ask Jesus Christ, this is going to no. go 25, 30 minutes. You want to no. do this? No, we can't go We can't this, do this? We'll, we'll do this d- another Come topic. To know. I watched, <laughs> this is quick little bingeables. Bingeables, I watched Midnight Sky with George Clooney on Netflix, new movie. Very strange. I liked it. Not that good, though. Anyone else see it? No. I won't go into it. detail. I watched Rogue with Megan Fox. Has anyone seen it? It's, a, no. it's an army movie <laughs> no. where she is the lead in an army movie. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. You know how Makes I said uh, like, like a couple weeks ago, I was like, you know, Hard Kill with Bruce Willis, worst movie I've ever seen, hands uh, down. Yeah. This movie is getting real close to that one. Yeah. Rogue with Megan Fox in it, truly terrible. Um, who would win in a fight? Megalodon shark, which is over 300 feet, couple tons in weight, or the Kraken? The Kraken. 250 feet, couple tons in weight. The Kraken. I think the Kraken's taking that one. Or the Megalodon shark. So I, I will put this into perspective. The Megalodon shark's jaw, theoretically, would be the size of the Kraken's head. The Kraken, bro. The Kraken's way too, like... 
It's got the suction cups, That bro. was the perfect example <laughs> for that. That was, like, dead yeah. on. I hope the microphone really... I'm like also going with the Kraken, and, and that's my reasoning. That... He said that, it. That's it. That's it. The, the, the tentacles, the, the... Any argument you had against it... That was it. I beat it because if I didn't... That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right Same thing on. with you, Kraken? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah. All it takes is that motherfucker to rap that dude. Bro, once. And like, it's his bitch. The thing's gonna try to chomp you. Oh, it missed. Like, <laughs> it's dead. Like, yeah. That was my last thing. I don't, I don't, I don't get you those. You guys got any other gun to your heads? Any quick little tangent you good nothing big i don't think so i listen i'm irish i don't got nothing big (laughs) (laughs) you good eric (laughs) i think so all right thank you again anthony for coming through it was a pleasure we will definitely have you on the pod again this was the longest pod we've ever had absolutely dude thanks for having me had a blast Appreciate you coming, uh, another local person. If you want to be a guest on the show, hit us the fuck up. 603-922-4074, brutalview at gmail.com. Leave a comment, DM us, send us a dick pic. If you're of age. No balls. You won't send us a dick pic. Actually, what he meant was send us a dick pic without the balls. Literally. <laughs> just hide the nuts. Through sack. the undies. Yeah, just the penis. <laughs> this was The Brutal View, episode 33. Thank you very much for listening. Please share, subscribe, tell your friends, kill your grandmother. Have sex with a cousin. You know, little kids can get hit. It's not like it's. Uh,